Hey, what's up, everyone? I know yesterday's video was supposed to come out with acclimating the copper band butterfly, but we're interrupting that one for a special announcement. So stay tuned. So as I said in the beginning of the video, um, the video that was promised for today is not going to come out and the reason for that is one of the things I'm going to be covering in this update and that is as you look around the tank, there is no copper band butterfly. Yesterday when I came home from work, I was greeted with the copper band swimming up and down in circles, not having any power and eventually dying. Now, the mystery behind this is the copper band was doing well. I don't understand why this fish died because it was eating, it was eating mysis, it was going around picking the rocks. I checked him when I took him out of the tank. There was no marks on him. He hadn't been attacked. So it's kind of a mystery of why this fish did die. So uh, sometimes I guess you just don't re realize or understand or know why something doesn't live in your tank. So the game plan is to let the tank go as is for now and um, eventually getting some more fish in. I have been looking around and there are some opportunities for some fish that uh, I'm very excited about putting in um, to, to this tank and eventually the larger tank so just stand by wait and see the updates as they come in and you'll see what happens with that now the second part of this update is also uh, a response to the video that came out by reefing with Billy pipes uh, I appreciate all the great comments that uh, people have been giving and also the people that have been coming to this channel and subscribing and leaving comments um, the tank for Billy was basically a way to get him something that I knew that he would enjoy working in and um, piquing his interest in the hobby still and just getting excited about a new build uh, I know that he wanted to downsize I talked to Billy pretty much every day and therefore I, I knew he wasn't satisfied with what he was planning on so that was a way for us to say thanks and also um, give him a, a you know exciting build to look forward to now as far as uh, my tank and corals are concerned there are corals from my tank that will be up for sale soon uh, basically what I'm going to do now is go through uh, picturing the corals that I will be selling and um, if you're interested my email just go to the about tab on my channel and my email will be there you can uh, hit me up for more information on contacting me and also give me your contact information and we can discuss uh, pricing and whatnot then so let's go through this real quick. Out of the Euphelia Garden, uh, what's going to be up for sale is um, right here there's a cluster of hammer coral. You'll see the green one with the purple tips that's in the center of the frame. Also the one that's out on the rock there. The one that's behind it will be going along with this uh, gold hammer. This head right here in the center of the frame will be up for sale. Up on top of the rock is the frog spawn those two groupings of frog spawn will be up for sale this pink frog spawn uh, which we are coloring up is also going to be for sale over on the frag rack you can see the candy canes in the back and the zoanthids there's a group of um, sunny d's and fire and ice that will be up for sale Sorry, the Utter Chaos, which is rebounding back, is not going to be up for sale. Coming over here, there is a colony of Rainbow Acans that will be up for sale. 
in this area you could see the group of orange ones the largest grouping of my uh, acan garden that's actually two frags that will be up for sale just one of the two along with um, eventually this one will be up for sale but you can see as the polyps they're getting larger I want this to grow out and encrust on that plug and uh, once that does that that will be up for sale as well the other group of rainbow eight cans will be up for sale the you can see the the candy canes the purple and gold candy canes um, that's going to be up for sale as well and I possibly can get two frags out of that um, I'll have to see once I take it out of the tank so that will be up for sale as well uh, right here on the tower one of the Hollywood stunners is going to be fragged and for sale there will be a, a grouping of the purple digi that will go up for sale as well a couple of the red satosa corals will be up for sale I know I keep saying up for sale, but <laughs> you gotta excuse me as I repeat myself. I'm just looking around the tank right now and going through the list. I think that's going to be about it for now. There may be some more that I may announce later on, but for now that's a good start. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions or, or comments or you wanna find out exactly, you know, the pricing on them and whatnot, you can hit me up by just emailing me at the email on the, on the about column. So, now as far as plans are concerned, and the reason why um, I'm selling the corals out of the tank is, the plan is to jump this to a 125 um, or um, something larger, but it's going to be a 6 foot tank. Reason for that is the fish that I want are not small fish. The powder blue is still cooling his heels in the quarantine slash frag tank, and I don't want to get rid of him. And at the same time, I do want to put other fish that I don't want the aggression to take over. I don't want the aggression to be brought out on them and make sure that they survive. So the all the sales that um, are going from the sale of the frags will be divided probably up between um, money for that build as well as uh, money that I will donate to uh, the Billy fund um, the GoFundMe account for Billy's uh, son little Billy will be linked in the description down below so basically this is going to be a short update on the tank and like I said, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment down below. Hit my uh, email up, and also, um, if you have any uh, other questions that you may want as far as shipping and everything, we'll answer it then. And also, if you need a you know way to contact, even better than that, uh, we'll all work it out through the email anyway. <clears throat> so, if you're a, a newcomer to the channel, make sure. You hit the subscribe button and hit the uh, bell to get reminders of when updates come out on the channel. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, hit a thumbs up if you like the content and share the video. And as always, um, that's it for today. This is Scott, and I'll see you next time around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.